Okay. Yeah. Off we go. Uh, I've been in the fifth of night. This I don't have to see the game. Um. Probably if I if I look back at what I was feeling after the game, I mean I, I'll I'll never master the art of feeling good after a defeat, so this doesn't feel great. But um, different than what we probably would have felt after the Brentford game a week ago. So I think in in large parts we um, we kept it the game. First half was was good. Um, but then obviously mistakes cost, especially at this level. And, you know, I keep saying you're in the Premier League. So when you get promoted, it's, it's not supposed to be easy. You're still all in a, like on a journey to, to get to that level. Year one is never easy. So, um, yeah, that's, that's part of something we're, we're experiencing right now. And, um, you know, duels or lack of communication on one phase or the other. And before you know it, uh, a good performance turns into something where you know you, you go looking for more, but um, it's 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 part of what you have to deal with, and you have to go again. Next game is most important. The, the nature of the goals that, that you're disappointed in the first two balls into the box. Yeah, but the the point is more, like I said before, you you go through not just ourselves, the other teams that get promoted. And and like I said, there's such a huge gap between the Championship and the Premier League, which you can't forget. Um, I was explaining to some of the people I was saying, and it's not an excuse, it's just it's a motivation to belong there, right? It's it's not by any means something... Um, but, but I was explaining to people when I was in the Championship, for example, the level of the Championship was very similar to the level of the Belgium Jupiler Pro League where I was before. Very similar. You know, you could... Take a player from there, put it there, and good player there would be a good player in, in both leagues, right? But you would never consider that that level would then go into the highest level in world football straight away. So this is what we're experiencing, obviously, with championship going into the Premier League. It's it's that big of a gap. You know, it's like you go, you know, division number 10 or 12 in Europe into division the highest in the world. And... And that's that's the exciting part for us, really exciting. But that's all the, also the logical part where you have to stay calm and and work with the team to get there every single time and and make sure that the next game is 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 the best game. Okay, anybody else? Just one more. Just one more pause there, Benny. Obviously, you've still been in Mexico illness tonight. You think you have back for the weekend? When's our next press conference? Friday morning. Friday morning. Friday. Hopefully by Friday I can give you more info. Okay. Just, on, um, just in terms of that, that process you talk about, is there a way you can speed that up? J journey, just, yeah. You just have to accept this is, this is how it's going to be. You, no, you don't accept it. Absolutely not. You don't accept it. But you put it into context because you can go and make your head crazy with these things. You put it into context. Was the performance bad today? No. But in these moments, um, there's a difference. It shows. And um, and the worrying thing would be if you don't have the belief in the squad, which is not the case at all. It's just that hardcore um, kind of work, relentless work to make them, you know, understand like this is this this is these are the steps we have to make. You know, you've got to, in our case anyway, you've got to live for for every moment in the game. Otherwise, if you give anything. Uh, it's hard enough to to have your own moments, you know, and but I I I, I probably don't look as defeated or, or as you know. Yes, I'm hurt, but the point is I I can put it into context, and I'd be naive to have start this season to you know to not ex expect that you will go through these moments before you get over that hurdle and and. And then eventually, when you get through your first year, I think that's where you start looking upwards, you know. But it, it is what it is. Do you think you learned anything about where Burnley are in relation to Everton tonight? Or was it just a one off topic? <laughs> do you want to go through the financial <laughs> records of the last few years? No, what I'm saying, oh, by the way, I'm not talking about those. I, I, I realized as I was saying it, I realized I was saying a completely innocent mistake. No, what I meant is, you know, the years and years and years and years of uh, investment in the squad. Everton's a strong squad. 
good players and um, and I don't say this in a way that that it's it's defeatist I'm saying this in a way like we want to get to that level but um it, it, to 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 compare ourselves to anyone at the moment in this league it's it doesn't make sense we have to just focus on ourselves and and focus on on us getting to the next level and 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 you know not get not get sidetracked by the fact that yes Everton has got a good squad yes I mean name me any squad in the Premier League and and of course they're very good squads thank, thank you. you and apologies for where this was going was a was a mess they'll be watching yeah but they they know me they know you're not good take care